Happy New Year! Woo! It's 2017 now and I thought to start off the year and to make my first 2017 video what would be the best thing to do? Tell you what I hope for this year. So instead of having resolutions I've called them hopes, dreams and goals because there's a whole mixture of stuff. Um, my plan is I'm going to tell them all to you and then at the end of the year I will re-watch this video and see if I've actually if anything's actually happened that I wanted it to happen. So I'm going to tell you a bit about them and go from there. Um, I have about 10, 11, I think I've managed to write down for myself. I'm not going to tell you more because that will make the video go on forever. But we shall see from there. So, my first one is more of a hope slash dream maybe. Is that I really want to get a pay rise. Whether it's in my current job now or I get a new job. If I get a new job that would be brilliant and amazing. Especially if it means a pay rise. If I get a pay rise where I am now, that's awesome because it means I don't have to leave and I do get some extra money for it because pay rise is always good. Um, number two is that I want to attend at least two comic conventions. Um, in April, I already have one booked and that's just based around a certain TV show and that's at Heathrow, so you'll learn a bit more about that like closer to the time. And then so I just, I'm halfway there already, so I just need to find one more comic convention that I can attend and book those tickets so that I can go to two. Because I've never been to com comic conventions before, so I'm really excited and I really want to start going to them. So that's number two. Num by the way, I'm looking down because I've written down on my laptop so I can see because there's so many I'll forget. <laughs> so number three is I'd like to try and do yoga for about an hour every Sunday. I'm not flexible, I'm not a calm person or anything, and I hear that yoga's meant to calm you down, it's meant to get you, like, to zone, get into your central zone or whatever it is, and everything, and just be relaxed, and that's what I want to try and do. I, and I'm, like I said, I'm not very flexible either, so I think that'd be quite cool to loosen up a bit or something. So, that's one other than another thing. Um, kind of to go with number three. Number four is I want to exercise at least one, an hour a week again. For example, like go running or something one morning or whatever. Because I think in the total of 2016, I probably did about five hours exercise for the whole year. I'm a very lazy person. I hate exercising. So I really, really want to try and do some form of exercise once a week. Even if it's just lifting weights for an hour or something. Just once a, an hour or once a week would be fine for me. Because I'm not really... I don't need to exercise really, but I want to try and get a bit healthier and fitter, which why, and who knows, by next year I could be saying, oh, I'm actually, I've actually done three hours a week or something, but because of how busy I am and that, I know that one hour is something that I should be able to meet, so that was that. Um, number five is that I want to go abroad at least three times this year, and that at least one of those countries is a country I've never visited. And again, I'm already kind of there. Um, I've got Iceland booked for this year, but I've already visited it, and I should be going away with my partner to Mallorca. Again, I've already visited that country, so I need to find one country that I haven't been to yet and book that. But it all depends on money, but if I get number one, the pay rise, I'll be able to afford to do this one. So all my things are kind of going together and fitting together, but we'll see. Um, number six shouldn't be too difficult, and that's I want to read at least two books a month. Um, at the beginning of last year I weren't really reading at all and then as the year started to come to a close I was reading more but there's so many books out there that I, I want to read I really want to so I want to aim to read two books a month just because that way I do get through the whole of the books that I have at home and it means I get to read the books I want to read so that's a really good thing that's one of my main aims um, number seven I'd like to the laptop's gone ah number seven is I'd like to learn a new recipe each week I used to be a big fan of cooking, like when I lived in my flat I used to cook loads of different things and I love cooking, I love baking, I love new recipes but I can't find the time anymore to cook and like even in the evening meals now I'm not really bothered to cook things I've not, like basic things, like most of the things are frozen nowadays and everything, like I just, I don't have the time, I'm too tired and that so I want to try and make the time to learn a new recipe each week and try and get healthier so they're kind of like going together. I want to learn a new recipe each week and go be healthy as well at the same time. Um, number eight is to do with YouTube. Not, I want to get more subscribers than that. Yeah, that'd be great if I got more subscribers, but I'm not that bothered about it. The subscribers I have now, I love. So I don't care, I don't, I'm not really bothered about that. But what I really want to do is I want to learn how to edit my videos more and improve my content so that you guys are getting more out of my channel and enjoying it. 
that's my aim. I want to improve and learn how to get, just how to make things better. Like I want to start doing vlogs, so I need to learn how to do video vlogs a bit better. And I am slowly learning, but I want to learn a lot more. I want to get, like, improve a lot. I want to look back at this video and at the end of the end, like, whoa, I can, my videos are so much well more planned out and designed now. Um, number nine is a big one for me. I want to try and worry less. I need to stop thinking about the past and thinking about the future and just concentrate on the now. I'm a huge worrier. I make up scenarios in my head of things that's never happened and then I worry about them. I'm constantly worrying about things that happened like four or five years ago that that's done, done with. There's nothing I can do to change it, but I'm still worrying about it. So I want to just get rid of all that worry and that stress and then just enjoy the now, live in the now because life is too short to worry. And that kind of goes again with the yoga. I'm going to use the yoga to try and relax me and de-stress me. So like I said, they're all going together. Number 10 is I want to try and complete at least 50% of my Queen's Guide Award. For those of you that don't know what that is, I'm, I'm a leader in gal guiding, but because of my age, it means I can do certain badges as well because I'm classed as I'm kind of I'm classed as a senior section because of my age. Um, so I'm, this challenge though that I'm doing, the Queen's Guide Award, is the highest award you can get in gal guiding, and I started it in May 2016, and you have three years to complete it. And my three years is definitely my deadline because by that point I'm then too old to to do it, and. I've not really done anything really for it yet. I think I've done one section and that's it and there's tons more I need to do so I really want to concentrate. I want to put time aside each week so I can look at it and get it done and I'm just determined to get at least 50% done. And then number 11 is I want to be confident in my own skin because I'm a very self-conscious person. I can't even leave a house without wearing a little bit of makeup on because I say I'm going to scare the people. I'm so self-conscious. I hate, I like, always hated the way I've looked and everything, but I want to try and gain confidence in myself and everything. As I'm getting older, I'm starting to get used to being my own skin because I'm not going to be able to change it unless I get cosmetic surgery. What I look like is what I look like. So I'm, I really want to learn to use wear less makeup. I want to be able to go to the local shops without wearing makeup. Like seriously, I will leave even if I'm going to be even if I'm at the house for like five minutes, I still have to put a full face of makeup on before I leave the house. I spend more time doing makeup than I am actually at the house. So that's one big thing I really want to do, try. So maybe even stop wearing makeup in some of my videos, who knows? I just want to try and become more confident. So that's 11 things I want to happen this year. Some of them I can easily do, some of them might be a lot harder, some of them I may stick at, some of them I will probably not be doing by the end of the year but who knows they're my aims I've written them down so I can look at them and remind myself of them I'm setting a schedule so I remember to do the yoga so I remember how remember to do my research and do give myself lessons on editing and videos I'm trying to become more organized so I can get all this done and I feel like this is my year 2017 I know everyone says that this is my year each year but this is going to be my year I'm not going to let things dictate how I'm going to find feel find the year like it's up to me to make the year good, things around me, if something bad happens, it's up to me to not dwell on it, it's up to me to think, okay, I've learnt my lesson and to continue instead. So 2017, it's going to be the year where my mind is straight, and I'm no longer stressing, I'm no longer worrying and everything. So there you go, it was a long list and a very long video, but hopefully you enjoyed it. If you guys have got some hopes, dreams and goals or, some, or resolutions that you've done for this year, let me know in the comments below because I'm very curious to see what other people have set and I'm very excited to see what other people have set themselves. And hopefully by 2018, you'll have met your ones as well as I've met mine, but who knows. So there you go, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope you all have a great morning, afternoon, evening, whatever the time of day is. I hope you're happy and smiling because that's the most important thing. And I shall see you all in my next video. Goodbye.